Right, okay, fan reaction time then. Burnley 5, Cardiff City 0. And it's the most bizarre 5-0 that I have ever had the pleasure to watch. I actually didn't think we were great, especially the first 60 minutes. I think towards the end of the match when Cardiff had started tiring, we really came into our own and, and we pretty much started dominating. Like We really slowed the game down and when we were getting forward, pretty much every single attack, it looked like a goal. But when we got that goal, that first goal, that very fortuitous first goal, obviously shades of Aro Mioric last year against uh, Brighton, weren't it? Pretty much exactly the same, to be fair. Um, we did deserve I wouldn't say it was against the run of play because Cardiff weren't exactly dominating, but they had more of the ball already at that stage and we hadn't really done anything. And we were struggling to string two or three passes together, really. I thought Foster was struggling to get in the game for the majority of the first half. Although Luca played well overall, I thought in that first half it was quite erratic. But when we got that first goal, it was obviously very fortuitous and that really set the tone then, didn't it? Because even then, for the next 20, 25 minutes, Cardiff again with a better side. They just couldn't do anything with all this territory and all this possession could Cardiff. But yet, on the other hand, we had four shots on target throughout the entire game and won 5 0. Obviously, one of them goals was the um, own goal. But it just shows how clinical we are uh, in this league and how and how the difference uh, relies a lot on the quality of player. Like, Cardiff had the chances early on, didn't they? They hit the post when they went clean through on goal. Um, there was They had other chances as well, but there was that dubious... I say dubious offside, I, just because I haven't seen it back. I remember at the time thinking it looked a little um, close and, and could have gone either way. Um, but I do like the fact that the linesman put his flag up and didn't just hide behind VAR. Obviously, he can't. There's no VAR in this league. But that's so much better that the linesman just, just stuck his flag up and, and, and got the decision done. Um, and there were just all these chances where I remember starting to think to myself, like, Cardiff are going to get back into this. Cardiff are going to get back into this. But they just didn't have the quality to turn all these chances into a goal. And that's the difference. We had the better players. And we were the ones that managed to punish them. Whereas last year, like we wouldn't have got the fortuitous old goal because only we were giving them sort of goals away last year. And you know the, the opposition could have easily been two and up with the two chances that they'd had. And that's the difference between the leagues. The opposition aren't as good, and we have the better players. Uh, second half, I thought it started pretty similar. To be honest with you, I thought Cardiff were turning the, the screw for the first five, ten minutes, and then again we just broke away and got a goal. It was just ridiculous. Um, obviously, I'm buzzing with it, um, but I just felt that we were poor again. And uh, When I say ridiculous, I'm not saying oh, it's ridiculous, it's not good enough. I mean, it's ridiculous the fact that we were under the cost for five, ten minutes and then and then pushed forward and, and got the goal. There's such a difference in this league in terms of quality, and obviously you should expect it. It's a championship, of course you could. But we are on the right end of the quality this time. So it's good to see that we weathered the storm, I suppose you could say, and then managed to to just put Cardiff to the sword in the end because 5 nils absolutely emphatic. And I thought the fourth and the fifth goals from us came. They were both, I nearly swore then, they were both fantastic goals. That Zeki's goal, man, what a strike. I'm there shouting, pass it, pass it, pass it. And he hits it. My first thought is, for God's sake, and then I'm like, oh, I hit the bar and it's gone down. I didn't think it were in from my angle. No one really appealed for it either, to be fair, on the pitch, did they? And obviously then the, the, the line will give, well, the ref's watch gives it, I think it is these days, isn't it? And then, and then yeah, JBG, um, a decent finish as well. I mean, both really good goals. Zeki's obviously the better one, but both really good goals. I thought that's what I'm, what I'm saying earlier at the start of the fan reaction is that that's when Cardiff had tired and it was quite easy to pass it through them um, and quite easy to, to you know, to get in between the lines of the midfield and the defence, which is where both goals were scored, to be fair, because they were both long-range efforts. Um, but yeah, it was easy, like, the, the, the space between the midfield line and the defensive line for Cardiff had grown. Um, I put it down to tightness, to be honest, because Cardiff did very, very well. They had some good players, I can't remember his name, but their number 15 up front, he was absolutely bullying some of our good defenders, by the way. Like He didn't have too much in terms of quality, but he was so strong. He was getting in front of the defenders and stuff and laying balls off and things like that. Obviously, Ramsey had spells as well. 
Um, but they, again, just going back to terms of quality, like we brought off the bench Valt Veghorst, a full international, Zeki Amdune, a full international, and Johan Berg Gudmundsson, another full international. That's the difference in quality. And thankfully, we're on the right side of it now because obviously we've been in and out of the Premier League for the last few years and obviously before that in it for quite a long time. But yeah, buzzing with the results and it's good to see the likes of Scott Parker and Haladke and Corley Orshaw in their post-match press well, interviews on the club website say say the same thing. Say, yeah, we, we knew we weren't great and we can get better. Like If this is what we're playing like when we're not playing well, what are we going to be playing like when we are playing better? But you couldn't have asked for a better start. Two wins, six points, nine goals. You know, four of them were against Luton, who obviously were in the Premier League with us. Fantastic start. I don't think anybody... Env- I thought even me, who, who I did predict that we'd win the league again, I didn't think we'd be winning games so emphatically so early on. But yeah, obviously buzzing. Buzzing to be top of the league. Buzzing to be scoring so many goals uh, and playing, you know... I'm going to say well, but that obviously contradicts what I said earlier. But being clinical and, and just putting teams to the sword, because both times we've put the t- both Luton and Cardiff absolutely to the sword just by being brilliantly clinical. And I cannot wait to see more of this season. Obviously, Sunderland next, I'm going up, then them at home. You know, if we win both of them and being on 12 points after four games and, you know, going into the international break, I think it is after that with that many points a win against them lot top of the league because obviously we already are so I can't see us not being top of the league then unless Watford starts scoring five every single week but fantastic absolutely made up with it like a great start and I'm only looking forward to the season now up Scotty Parker's Clarence (laughs) 